In 2008, Volvo began producing super efficient versions of its models, the Drive E-Line. The goals are ambitious. Over the longer term, Volvo is aiming to create cars without any pollutant emissions. But some time will pass before the inventive Swedes bring their first hybrid to market. And until then, the company is optimizing its standard drive systems. Improved engine management, brake energy regeneration, and start-stop systems are a few of the ways Volvo engineers have cut emissions. Now Volvo has introduced seven new especially efficient diesel models. Thomas Vivek says the new series spans the spectrum of products from the small C30 to the big S80, from the XC60 to the V70, and they achieve consumption rates of 3.9 to 6.3 liters per 100 kilometers. CO2 emissions range between 104 grams with the C30 to 159 grams with the XC60. The C30 is the line's lowest emission model. A major factor in its success is the low rolling resistance of its tires. And as said, the C30 Drive-E burns only 3.9 liters over 100 kilometers and emits 104 grams of CO2. But Volvo's fuel-efficient fleet includes more than just the smaller models. Station wagons like the V50 are also available in the eco-friendly version. The secret here is that under the hood, you'll find the same engine as the C30. That's how the wagon approaches the magic 100 grams per kilometer emissions threshold. Volvo's green technology even put its more outsized models on a mileage diet. The Drive E version of the XC60 apparently consumes just 6 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers and has a CO2 emission rate of 159 grams. And even if the actual figures diverge from the official ones, eco-friendliness has definitely arrived at Volvo. The carmaker's goals for the coming years are uncompromising. Thomas Vivek says Volvo has developed an exact schedule, its CO2 timetable launched at last year's Paris Motor Show. It starts here with the Drive E and its improved mileage and emissions. The diesel engines are the first in line. Then come the optimized gasoline engines and in 2012 the plug-in hybrid. That's a clearly defined schedule that Volvo expects to stick with. Buyers will have to wait two years before the hybrid hits the showrooms. Other car makers were faster. At least Volvo will be offering more drive e-model versions with efficient diesels and start-stop technology.